Microsoft Viva Learning is an application inside Microsoft Teams that creates a central hub for learning where people can discover, share, recommend, and learn from content across their organization. Now there's a free and also a paid version of Viva Learning. In this video, I'm going to walk you through and show you the interfaces of Viva Learning. My name is Asif Rahmani. I have been a Microsoft MVP for 15 years now and the CEO of Visual SP. Now, I'm not a Microsoft employee, meaning even though I love Microsoft products, I will tell you like it is, the good, the not so good, and the bad about Viva Learning. Then you can decide for yourself if it's the right solution for your organization. To get started, you enter Viva Learning by clicking on the Viva Learning icon in the left rail on Teams. Once you enter, you see this hero image carousel, which shows you the featured and trending content. For the paid version, you can control what's going to be featured and trending. Free version, you cannot. Let's go a little bit lower. You see the search box over here where you can search for courses. It's welcoming me, showing me my progress so far, and also inviting me to pick my interests. And click on see more to see all the different interests that are available. I can go ahead and search for an interest or I can go ahead and pick on one. Let me go ahead and search for Microsoft 365. When I find it, I'll click on it to select it. Then I'll go ahead and browse through more and select a few more that I'm interested in seeing courses for, like Dynamics 365, Leadership, Microsoft Teams. Let's check out what else they have here. Remote Work, SharePoint. I'll go ahead and pick one more. Time Management. And after picking all these, I'll go ahead and click on Save. Based on my interests, it's showing me recommended courses. If I click on See All, it shows me all the courses based on the interests that I've chosen. I'll go back over here. Back on the home page, as I scroll down, it has a section for Browse Courses with Your Interests, Providers, and Duration tabs. Within Your Interests, it has rows corresponding to each of the interests that I mentioned, which is Teams, Dynamics, Remote Work, Time Management, SharePoint, etc. Now I'm going to go back up and click on the Providers tab. That's going to show all the different providers, content providers that I already have set up, like LinkedIn Learning, Microsoft 365 Training, Microsoft Learn, Coursera, Pluralsight, edX. Keep in mind that to provide these courses, you need to have subscriptions, organization level subscriptions to each of these. Above that, you also will need Viva Learning Premium License. You can also search by duration. So for example, if you only have 10 minutes, you can go through those courses. If you have 10 to 45 minutes, that's what these courses are for, 45 to two hours, over two hours. And then whatever is not defined is in the uncategorized category here. There's a course that I know about. It's called Dream Teams. It's by Shane Snow. So I'll do a search. It finds it. I click on it, it opens it up, shows me the thumbnail, shows it's from LinkedIn Learning, the author, how long it is, information about the course. When you go inside of it, it brings up the player directly within Teams. And the player has the same features as it would have when you're in the browser as well. You can go to different chapters and so forth. I can also bookmark this course so I can easily return to it, which I'll do right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and close it. Now from this view, I can share with others. I can open in LinkedIn Learning, which I'll go ahead and do. So let's click on open in LinkedIn Learning, opens it up in the browser, shows me the same view I was looking at before within Teams. Back in Teams now, I can also click on the share and it will give me the opportunity to share directly with Teams or copy the link. I can copy it, send it through email or chat message. If I click on share Teams, gives me a dialog box where I can directly put in a name of a person or a team of people to share it with. I'll go ahead and choose Eric Eaton, one of my colleagues, I can say something about whatever I want to say, including this course link and click on share. Now I can also choose a group, so a consulting group, and then click on share after that. Now, if I go below, it shows me related courses coming from Coursera, Pluralsight, other places. Also more courses from LinkedIn Learning here. Keep in mind that these are not all free courses, they're just related courses. So I still would need access to it. So where here it says 10,000 plus courses to choose from, yes, there are that many, 
but it doesn't mean that it's free. I need to have access to it through my organization. Now let's go back to the home page. And from here, I'm going to go to some specific courses in Microsoft 365 training. So let's go to providers and Microsoft 365 training. I'll click on the first one that's share and sync with OneNote. Let's play this course. So it's bringing these pages in from the web. I have the embedded player. I can play the video, the trite information below, even the transcript. All this information is coming from Microsoft support site being brought in directly within Microsoft Teams so I can consume it here. Let's go ahead and close it and go back. And from here, I'll go back to the home page. Then let's go down to once again, providers. This time I'll go into Microsoft 365 training section, click on see all. And you can see there's 245 results, everything from sharing, co-authoring, exploring apps, rows, columns, and Excel, all different kinds of Microsoft 365 training available right here. And the same exact training is available on the web. So if you go to support.microsoft.com and look for, in this case, OneNote, you'll find the same exact course, share your notes with others and all the other OneNote training. Just like that, if you go to products, you'll see training for all the other Microsoft 365 products right here also on support site for Microsoft. Now back again in Microsoft Teams, I'll go back to the home tab in Viva Learning. I'll go back to the providers section, but this time I'll go ahead and click on a different provider and that's going to be Microsoft Learn to show you the experience there. I'll click on see all to see all the courses. Once it comes up, I'll click on the first one related to Dynamics 365. Here it's showing that globe icon, which means that it's only available in the browser. So if I click on it, opens up the browser, takes me to the course. It's on docs.microsoft.com. And then I can go ahead and take the course, but I have to take it in the browser. It's not available in Teams, so I can click on start, start taking the courses as a user right here. So what I'm saying here is that all the information and courses on Microsoft Learn, as well as Microsoft 365 training, all those courses are available on the web for free as well. And is just being brought in to Microsoft Teams and being exposed to you and your users. Now let's go back to the providers section but now we'll look at the premium providers and the experience there. So we got Coursera, edX, Pluralsight. If I go to one of these here, let me go ahead and click on one of them. When I get to the course, now there is no play button. There is no globe circle. It's basically telling me up above that I don't have access to it. I need to talk to my administrator to get access to it. For this to work, you need an organizational wide license. We'll check out one more provider. So once again, from home page, I'll go to providers. This time around, I'll go to another well-known entity called Coursera. I'm gonna click on one of the courses. Same message here, no play button. And it says you cannot access this through Viva Learning Content to Administrator. So you'll need a Viva Learning Premium license and you need the license for Coursera to be able to see it. So where it says 10,000 courses, that means you have access to it but you'll still need to pay for that separately. Now let's look at some LinkedIn courses. So there's a big library of LinkedIn learning as we all know, but when you go to providers, go to LinkedIn learning, there's about 125 courses available for free, which means that many of the courses that you'll see here are not available for free like this one for SQL injection. I cannot have a personal license for LinkedIn and get access here. I would need to have an organizational license as it says over here. To demonstrate what I mean, if I close this, go back now, click on open in LinkedIn learning, which is on the web. I do have access to it as an individual user, Asif Rahmani, but I don't have access to it through my organization. And that's why I cannot see it in teams, but I can see it in the browser. We're back in Microsoft Teams and I want to show you that in addition to seeing this in an app, I can also go into a particular team, click on the plus sign to add a tab and I'll choose Viva Learning for that tab. Here I would have to identify courses that I want to see in that tab. So for the first one, I'll choose Dynamics 365. I like that Sales Essential training course, so I'll take that. I'll add a few more. 
I'm going to type in time management. Pick a couple of things over here. Time management for managers, efficient time management, and one more. Let's look for some SharePoint courses. Here I'll take the one on getting started with SharePoint Framework. So now I have four courses selected for this tab. I'll click on Save. It will push those courses right here in this tab. Now, once again, just because they're showing up here doesn't mean I have access to them. So make sure you have access to them before you put them on a tab. Another experience is when I'm in posts, let's say if I start a new conversation or participate in a conversation, there's a Viva Learning icon I can click on and then I can search for a course right here. So I'm searching for Dynamics 365. I find something that I'm looking for and I want to share. So I click on it. I type in my message, check out this course for your CRM credentials prep. I click on send and now it's been posted to this channel. And it works the exact same way in chats as well. Let's go back to the Viva Learning app. Now, another question that comes up a lot over here is that, is this icon and the Viva Learning wording customizable? It is not. According to Microsoft, this brand will remain the same and not customizable or brandable. Let's continue our journey. I'll click on the My Learning tab now. Here we have the search box and we have four tabs. Bookmark courses are shown right here. The Recommended to You tab would show you any courses that were recommended to you, but that also requires the Viva Learning Premium license. Next tab is Recently Viewed, which is all the courses that I recently viewed, obviously. Last one is completed. Now this also requires Viva Learning Premium and an LMS integration for this to show any courses that you have completed. Another question you're gonna have is how is all this set up? How is Viva Learning set up? So let me show you that quickly. This is where you set up Viva Learning. So you got Microsoft 365 Admin Center, you go into org settings, and in here you look for Viva Learning, which should be right here. I go into it. And this is where it shows me what Viva Learning is and what content sources I can provide. I don't have SharePoint checked off here, but this is the way that I can provide my custom content that we have created in our organization to my users in my organization. And also, if I wanted to, I could purchase Viva Learning Premium, which is $4 per user per month, provides you a way to integrate with other content providers like these and also integrate with your own LMS. So what do you think? Is Viva Learning the right solution for your organization? It may or may not be depending on your needs. Let us know here at Visual SP if you want us to do a quick assessment to see if it makes sense for your organization to go with Viva Learning or if you need a more blended learning solution. Thanks for watching. Hope to hear from you soon.